Today we're checking out SML movie Jeffy's Rubik's Cube. Let's dive right on in. Ooh, Jeffy, is that a Rubik's Cube? Nope, clearly not. Jeffy, if you're trying to solve that, those things are impossible. They're only for smart people. Well, then I guess I am smart people. What, Jeffy, you actually what? solved it? Well, then yeah, he's classified slow, smart people. I this hoe. And since I solved this Rubik, I'm going to smack this pubic. What? Jeffy, can hey. I mess it up so you can try solving it again? Sure, mommy. No, Jeffy, seriously, how'd you solve that? Dang, it's easy. All you got to do is match the colors together. Okay, Jeffy, yeah. here you go. All right, watch me work. It doesn't even look like he's solving it. It looks like he's messing it up. Mm. Dunion rings. But you oh. solved it again. It only took you like 10 seconds. 10 seconds? That's not even my fastest time. I can solve it in four seconds. Four seconds, Jeffy? That's amazing. You could set a world record. Oh, yeah, really? I am pretty smart. <gasps> Daddy, huh? there's cheese in my ear. What type of cheese do you think huh? it is? I think it might be a sharp cheddar. Ew. Definitely a Velveeta. No, Jeffy, that's not cheese. That's earwax. When's the oh. last time you cleaned your ears, Jeffy? You're supposed to clean your ears? I thought your ears were for hearing. <sighs> Baby, go get him a Q-tip. Okay. All right. All right, Jeffy. These are Q-tips. Q-tips? What do I do with these? You put it in your ear. In my ear? Oh. Yeah, like that. Now you move it around. Oh, oh, oh. That feels good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, deeper. Jeffy, be careful. Okay. You're going to hurt your eardrum. Yeah, Jeffy. You don't want to push it too far. You might hurt your ear. <laughs> Daddy, look! I made a cheese stick! Bro! You're supposed to eat it! Mm. Daddy, that was so good! It was blue cheese! Package it up! Jeffy, that's not cheese! That's <laughs> earwax! You're not supposed to eat that! But Daddy, I have an unlimited supply of cheese in my ear! It's cheese for the whole world! You have so many Q-tips in there! Earwax. Everyone has that in their ear! Daddy, baker's dozen is fuck! <laughs> Marvin, I'm gonna get him a glass of water if he's gonna keep eating his earwax! He needs to stop eating his earwax! It can't be healthy! Well, eventually it'll run out, right? We can hope. All right, Danny. I got a factory in overdrive. Everyone's about to have cheese for days. <laughs> Go get the water. Oh, God. Oh, Jeffy, I brought you a water. Mommy, check out my cheese sticks. I even made a cheese pyramid. Ew! Oh, my oh, God. That's, that's a lot of earwax. Hold on, Danny. I got one more good one. I got to get really deep in there. You're going to hurt your ear. Marvin, how has he not run out of earwax yet? I have no idea. <laughs> huh? Daddy? What's this pink stuff? Look, Jimmy, it looks like a piece of your brain. My brain? Oh, oh. my God, Marvin, we have to call a doctor. He went so hey, damn I'm deep. Doctor. Hey, Leah, somebody call a doctor? Ooh, cheese sticks. No, that's not cheese. <laughs> oh, God, that's just earwax on a Q-tip. Why didn't anybody tell me? Because Bro. I thought you were smart since you're a doctor. Not all doctors are smart, okay? I cheated to get where I am. Like, there was this fat bitch in front of me in college named Abby. Fat, I just copied fat her. Bitch. She's a much more successful doctor than I am. Yet fat, so I'm winning. Anyway, what do you guys need? So yeah, Jeff like Cody's mom. And he dug out a piece of his brain. Okay, look, that's impossible, okay? He'd have to break through his eardrum, which would be extremely painful, and then the Q-tip would touch his skull, and then once it got through to his inner ear, it would cause extreme pain, dizziness, and vomiting, okay? There's no way that would be an accident. It would have to be on hmm. purpose. Well, he was doing it on purpose. He was trying to shove it as deep as he could in his ear. <sighs> Unless okay, that's my not... Autoscope. All right, let me take a look in there. Oh, yeah, there's a big chunk of his brain missing. Wait, so that is his brain? Yeah, that's his brain on the Q-tip oh. there. Is he gonna die? I don't know. How you feel, Jeffy? <laughs> uh. <laughs> is that normal? Yeah, he normally acts like that. Oh, well, yeah. look, he'll be just fine then. Look, the brain is so big, you don't need all of it. That little piece on the Q-tip, that's probably like one memory. He'll be okay. So you think it's just one memory? Oh, yeah, he'll be fine. Yeah! Oh. Is that a Rubik's Cube? Yeah, Jeffy yeah. just a Rubik's Cube in four seconds. Whoa, that's got to be a world record. You should enter him into the national annual Rubik's Cube Solvatron competition. What's that? Well, it's where a bunch mm. of these dorks who don't get any pussy and have rolling backpacks get together to see who can solve a Rubik's rolling Cube. Rolling backpacks? Fastest. I mean, no females are allowed within 500 miles of the competition, but first place gets a $25 gift card to QB Tuesdays and a million dollar cash prize. Imagine that piece of his brain Rubik's Cube? Yeah, I mean, they're is just the memory that he can, ha, can do like Rubik's Cube. They're just going to spend the so, money to buy more Rubik's Cube. It's like yeah. the chunk of his brain. He won't be able to know so how to I mean, do Rubik's cubes. You still get five hundred thousand dollars, and third place Imagine is one hundred thousand. 
But fourth place gets you executed by firing squad. They kill you? Yeah. What? Yeah. I mean, you can still come in. the Hunger Games? 10,000 for that. But fourth place? No, they will kill you. They do not tolerate mediocrity. So as long as Jeffy gets first, second, third, or fifth, he gets money? Yeah, yeah. Just don't come in fourth. That would be bad. Oh, my God. Jeffy's going to totally win that competition because he can solve a ruse in four seconds. So, so when is it? Uh, it's in two hours, but it's 500 miles away. Marvin, oh. we'd have to travel 250 miles per hour to get there in time. Our car doesn't go that fast. Okay. Hmm. I'll let you guys borrow my rock. Rocket ship. Thank you. Rocket ship. <laughs> oh. Hello oh, and welcome to the annual National Rubik's Cube Solvatron competition. All right. We have the biggest nerds in the world here protecting their virginity. Oh god, they're gonna have glasses like me. <laughs> as fast as they well, can. Cody's gonna be the competition here. Competition will begin shortly. Hmm. I'll get it. Mm. Hello? Trick or treat. We're here for the Rubik's Cube. Trick or treat. This man yeah. said trick or treat. Get the hell out of here. What? Why? Because none of these boys in here have ever seen a girl before, and if they do, they might cream their bridges. Baby, just go wait in the rocket ship. Aww. Yeah. Can we come in now? What's the password? No women. Oh, Rubik's Cube dick. Come on in. What? what? All right, Jeffy, you ready to beat these kids? Yeah, I'll beat all the right. shit out of all these kids. Which kid you want me to hit first? No, not beat them up. Don't. I meant beat them in solving a Rubik's Cube. What's up, fresh meat? Jonathan. I've seen you around here before. So, what's your best time? Best time? Yeah, your best time is solving a Rubik's Cube. It. Oh, well, I don't solve Rubik's Cubes, but Jeffy's best time is four seconds. Mm. Four seconds? He might win first place this year. Really? Yeah, mm. you see that kid down there? His name is Jackie. Jackie too. too. He wins first place. Oh, and every that year. guy with the red He's glasses. A super Asian. And then beside him, that's Dontavious Rex. He has a 12 inch wiener. I saw it in the shower one day after cube practice. You have showers here? Oh yeah. This competition gets super intense. And then beside oh. him, that's Cody. He's gay. It's true. Well, yeah. <laughs> so Cody. Well, I knew Cody was going to be here. I go for last place every year. Easiest 10 grand of my life. Oh, but my buddy last year, Fred, he died by fire squad because he got fourth place. And then the year before that, my other buddy, he got banned for life. How'd he get banned? Because he, he brought a girl. Someone say girl. Shut up, Don uh, Davis. Keep your weight on your pants. Damn. Oh, it won't affect girl, Cody because he's gay. Girls aren't allowed because the last time a girl was here, everyone's pants got filled with cream cheese. So, what about YouTube? Oh, I just don't know how. Ha! You hear that, everyone? This guy doesn't know how to cube! And what a fucking loser. Well, he's, a, he's a dad. Oh, come on, Jeffy. All right, everyone, we're ready to start the competition. So here's how this is going to work. Everyone's gonna come up, and we're gonna time how fast you can finish a Rubik's Cube. The person with the fastest time wins a million dollars and a $25 gift card to QB Tuesdays. The person All who right. in fourth place gets murdered. Now, first up is our newcomer, Jeffy. Okay, Jeffy, I'll start the timer by hitting the space bar, and when you're done with the Rubik's Cube, I'll stop the timer by hitting the space bar again. And I'll let you know what All the right. time was. The world record is 3.13 seconds. On your mark... Get set, go! What am I supposed to do with this? <gasps> well, you didn't get the record, but keep going. Jeffy, hurry up and solve it. I don't know what this is. I've never seen one of these before in my life. That's a punch so of his bro. I called it. it. I called it. it. I don't even know what this is. What? Oh my god, do you think that part of your brain you pulled out was the part that made you solve a Rubik's Cube? It has to be because I've never seen one of these before in my life. Uh, mister, he doesn't know how to solve a Rubik's Cube. But what? Yeah, he. I thought he did, but he doesn't know how to do it anymore. Well, then why the hell would you come to a Rubik's Cube guy? Just disqualify him. Oh. Well, I guess I'll have to give you fifth place. He has $10,000. Just like that? Yeah, sure. Okay. Come on, Jeffy, let's go. And up next, we have Cody Nutkiss. All right. On your mark, get set. Go! Yeah, come on, Cody. Come on, Cody. Wow, what a smooth fact. And... Wow, 6.9 seconds. <laughs> noise, 69. <laughs> yeah! yeah! Next we noise. have Dontavious Rex. On your mark, get set, go! Shit, shit. Oh, shit. that's gonna cost him some time. Come on, kid, hurry up. Done. Not my best time. Mother will not be uh. pleased. Are you gonna finish it? Just one second. Oh. 
Okay, I think that's good enough to get a nice smooth fifth place. Well, congratulations, you came in fourth. What? Oh. Nine. No, no, please. Oh, Lone <laughs> Dolphin. <laughs> Hello, Jonathan is champion, Jackie too. gone. On your mark, get set, All right, two. go. Done. Everybody can suck my wing. Oh, hey. he broke the world record. You get first place. Oh, I'm so full. Maybe Bro. Hey, how was the competition? Uh, no, before you ask, I did not eat the earwax off of these Q-tips. That would be disgusting. Little did I know I hmm. did it. I am one sick son of a bitch. You I are the earwax pyramid, and I kept some in my pocket as a little snack for later. I wonder how many carbs there are in earwax. So, so how was the competition? Oh, uh, it was good. We came in fifth place, so we got ten thousand dollars. Oh, nice. I feel bad for the guy who came in fourth, mm. though. Yeah. So you know that piece of brain that Jeffy pulled out? Well, that part of his brain was the part of his brain that knew how to solve a Rubik's cube. Oh, that sucks. Well, how'd you like my oh. rocket ship? It was cozy. It was very fast. Well, yeah, it's a rocket mm -hmm. ship. And uh, the fuel for that bitch is pretty expensive. As a matter of fact, I think one gallon. Brooklyn's gonna take it. They never dollars. get money. Oh, looky there, ten grand. What a coincidence. But no, I don't have to pay for your gas. Hey, I gave you my rocket ship. I gotta pay for the gas somehow. Don't be a douche. Oh my god. Okay. How do you feel, Jeffy? That all that was for nothing. Well, Danny, if you want to make money, I got a cheese factory in my ear and a chocolate factory in my ass. Hey, uh, what? I've been trying to call my brother Jonathan. Anybody see him? He's like, dead. Like, was he at the Rubik's Cube competition? Because he's usually there. Well, he said he always got fifth place, and this year we got fifth place, so... <gasps> uh oh Yeah! Can you solve your Rubik's Cube? Nope. Because I'm a dumbass. I'm your professional dumbass right here. And Jonathan's dead. I wonder if Jeffy's gonna have his little piece of his brain back in in his head. We'll have to find out or something. I don't, cause I, seriously, I really don't know. Hey guys, click on this video. You'll enjoy it. I swear.